Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, one of the highlights of State of Unreal this week was the demonstration of the new plugin PCG. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get started with that. Go to the Edit, Plugins, and we're going to type in Procedural right here. The tool is actually called Procedural Content Generation Framework. I mean, that sounds like a freaking wrestling team right there. Welcome to the Procedural Content Generation, brother. You know, like something like that. All right, next, that's already enabled. If you haven't enabled it, go ahead and enable it and then come back. And then what we'll do is just create a new level, file, new level, start with a basic. I'm going to delete that floor, delete. And then what I'll do is I'll create a landscape. We're going to need a landscape for this. So I'm going to do a one by one so it's not too big because we're about to generate some pretty high quality assets in here. I actually got a crash when I did this the first two times. So be very careful when you're generating because it's going to generate a lot. All right, so here we go. I'm going to close this now, go to the selection. And to create the actual volume, we're going to go to the plus box or the place actor and we'll just type in PCG like so, and I'm gonna reset that so that it's gonna to go to the middle right there. And I'm gonna increase the size to 20, 20 by 20 by 10. So it's a little bit wider and I'll just bring it up so I can see where that floor is. Okay, just like that, so that's good to go. So again, if you have like a weaker computer, start with something small, all right? Cause it's, this is pretty crazy here. Next, what we'll do is we're gonna click on the PCG component and then go to the instance. If you don't see this, just go look for the instance and then click this right here and click the drop down and say, create a new asset. And we'll just call this tutorial. That's how you spell tutorial and then just double click it. All right, so here it is. We're gonna have an input and output. If you're familiar with like blueprints, you know how this is pretty much gonna go. So what we'll do is I'm gonna click this little arrow right here and from the landscape height, I'm gonna pull a pin and then just put in surface. And that's gonna create a surface sampler right there. Next, I'm gonna go to the out pin and then from the out, go ahead and pull and we'll type in transform. And then after that, we're going to type in static mesh because we're going to be spawning static mesh in. And we'll just connect the dots right there, and that should be good to go. You can save it, and then we'll move it right here so you can see what we're doing here. Now, we will go to the static mesh spawner now. I'm going to make this bigger so you can see a little bit better. And under the mesh entries, I'm going to click the box to add another element. And then I downloaded the European Beach from Megascans assets, which are amazing. So I'll double click that, go to geometry. I'm gonna use a pivot painter or PP, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm just gonna drag and drop a static mesh right here. All right, so I'm gonna save that right now. That's gonna compile some shaders and prepare the static mesh. So let's just go ahead and wait. And once you do that, you're gonna see that all the mesh are now generated. And obviously it looks like a hot mess. So let's go ahead and tweak some settings. I'm gonna go back to my actual graph right here. And that's why we created this transform points right here. Cause what we can do, we can actually set the min max for the scale rotation. So in the scale, I'm gonna set this to 0 0.1 to maybe 0.5 or maybe even 0.2, depending on your trees, right? So that's looking pretty good. So we're getting a little bit more randomness right there. Additionally, if you wanna rotate it also, you can also set that to like maybe 0.1 to, to say 0.2 as well. Go ahead and set this to 0.1, all directions. All right, so we get a little bit more rotation in there. So they're not all like facing the, the same direction. So that's good. I'm gonna go on seed like that. I'm just gonna save it like that. And then if we go back to the static mesh spawner right here, we can actually add a lot more. And like I said, this is where you wanna be careful um, because these assets, depending on the assets that you're trying to scatter, especially if you have like high poly crazy assets, just be careful, all right? Because it's gonna crash if you put too much in here. So I'm gonna add another element in there just to actually add maybe some rocks or something like that. I have some birch from Maui. I'm gonna get some static mesh from that. Go to meshes. And let's go with debris. And I'm just gonna grab one of these right here to just add to our pile. So I have the index number one, and I'll just drag and drop this right here. Okay, there you go. That's gonna prepare the shaders, so on and so forth. And now whenever that's done, we should see some, uh, some of these debris mark right here. Actually, you can see it right here already. So that's great. That's looking pretty good. So this is pretty similar to the procedural foliage volume that we've been kind of getting used to since 4.27 or whenever it came out. But one of the main differences is that with this system, we don't need to create foliage spawners. We can just drag and drop static mesh from the content browser straight 
to the actual scatter, which is really amazing. And additionally, just like the way they demoed it, you can actually move this volume and it's gonna give you a different look, which again, randomness is very, very important if you're trying to achieve photorealism because there's nothing out there that's copy and pasted in a real life, all right? So as you can see right there, whenever I move it, it is generating different types of scatter. And again, so freaking powerful and again so freaking exciting but that's pretty much it for this video that is how you use the new pcg volume that's experimental right now in unreal engine 5.2 preview one so with that being said if you learned something new today go check out my unreal engine 5 lighting course on ArchStation. it's actually on sale right now if you use the coupon code how to get lit it's pretty lit you should check that out and i'll see you on the next one peace out